بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم So over the last few years we have been going through that book حياة الصلف بين القول والعمل So in there we had many stories from the Sahaba not Sahaba, I mean from Tabi'in from the Tabi'un onwards Tabi'un, Muhaddithun from their life onwards Now, So I also want to do sometimes when we see it's very beneficial, a lot of beneficial stories a lot of things that I myself benefited from and I'm sure all of you benefited from Sometimes, when we read the stories from like, very far away, we just think, oh, yeah, that is there, but that's not for us, that's beyond our capacity. That's Imam Bukhari, that's Imam Abu Hanifa, that's Imam Malik, that's Sufyan ibn Uyayna, that's Ibrahim ibn Adham. So, I wanted to start a few stories from people who, from very close to our time. So we can see, you know what, that the people in our time, I uh, can't remember who said, one, one of the ulama said, we got another scholar, is that there's a caravan of Sahaba passing by and the people got left behind. So the ulama that we see, some of the ulama that we see is basically as this, that's what it feels like. There's a caravan, the, the, the Sahaba's caravan was passing by and the people got left behind in 2000, in 1900, 1900. So if you see them, you realize, you know what, only 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, my father's time, my grandfather's time, they are ulama who have set such legendary Proper, the word legends overusing it, the proper legends and the efforts that they have put in acquiring knowledge, passing on knowledge, sacrifices given for deen so that we can, number one, we can learn to appreciate their efforts number two is we can, I don't know if we can imitate them but we should at least try to realize what needs to be done so we get some kind of, uh, I don't think we can imitate them, it's not, I don't think it's possible but if you can get some, okay, if you can't get that far at least you take one step out of our bed, out of our comfort zone and stop sleeping so much, stop eating so much, and try to do something for them. So, uh, the selection I want to start from is, this is from Qadi Siddiq Sahib Bhanjwi Rahmatullahi So he passed, he came to England in 1995, I think. So he came to England in 1995. And I'm not sure when he passed away. So he's from, from uh, UP. So basically, again, people, they don't like, um, they don't go about like dictating this. So what happened is his student, one of his students, Zaid, Muhammad Zaid Madahiri Nadwi, so he was saying, please, he like basically the introduction, he was had a whole story that how he had to try to convince him that please let me write these things down. Because like in small gatherings, in small uh, talking to his students to give them the siha, he would say many things. And the, obviously could, his student, Muhammad Zaid Mazahiri, he realized that no what, these are very, very these are pearls. And these are like uh, the advices and also some of his stories, it would leave a legacy and which it'll be a, like a trail that people coming afterwards realize, you know what? This is how you have to get sacrificed to spread deen. This is how you have to sacrifice money, sacrifice sleep, sacrifice time. How his wife gave sacrifice for deen. So then, if you note these things down, then we can also, the people in the future can say, well, you know what? They can take Ibrah from this. Allah mentions this in the Quran, stories of the Anbiya. He also mentions stories of non-Anbiya. We have Luqman, Luqman, non-Nabi. Then we have Dal Kifr, Ikhlaf regarding that. We have Ashab al Kahf, we have Ashab al Khdud. And it's in, the, in, the, in, the, in Bukhari, you have many stories of, of non-Anbiya. Why? Because when we see them, so the, the stories of in the fiqh is ibra. There's, there's, a, there's a way for us to understand. So again, when he started off, he didn't, he didn't, um, he didn't say, well, I write my stories down, let me boast. So sometimes he was, his, actually his student said, I had to, and then he said, okay, let me see what you're going to do. Let me write it down. Don't write any exaggeration. Let me see. And he, even some places he said, I wrote this, but has, has edited it. He changed it. He said, no, don't write that down. And sometimes he added a few words of his own. So if you have that here, inshallah will be a, so I start off with something, again, not the whole thing, but a few things that I found really uh, eye-opening or really shocking. I've highlighted them, inshallah, we'll go through bit by bit, inshallah. 